uh, so that we may rejoice and be glad in him I'm happy to see each one of you in the presence of God and in the house of God I'm happy to see Pastor Gadogo in the house it is good how good are pre- uh, present for brethren to dwell together in unity I know that God is going to bless each one of us uh, today God is talking to us and he is encouraging us he told us to come and tell you uh, to uh, in uh, my message is in Ephesians 3:20 you told me to come and tell you that God is able uh, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power working in us. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we think, ask or think according to the power that in us God is able to do a thing more than you can think because he is God he is not a man God is reminding us and he told me to tell you that it is good to be reminded about God's ability to answer and to do all that we have asked and our request. And him alone is the one who has the power. Him alone is the one who has ability to do. And he is not doing one thing. He is doing all things that we are asking. Uh, even what we cannot even imagine imagine. He is able to do it. Yeah, and let us today boldly uh, bring our uh, request unto God. We bring our dreams uh, unto God. Because there is no danger of exhausting God's ability. God's power, he is able to answer us. And therefore the grace of God is beyond all what we can think or ask. And I was looking at we are just about to have G fire conference. And God has given us the power to do it in the name of Jesus. He has both the resources. He has also, uh, has both the resources, the ability to work with, with us. And because he is uh, he loves us and because he know every circumstance he is able to do uh, everything that we require or we need to do there is nothing hard uh, with God the Bible says in Jeremiah 3217 that the sovereign God he is the one who made heaven and earth but his great power he was able to, uh, to, to make this uh, uh, earth and heaven and there was nothing hard with God the Bible says in Luke 
137 na bibi inasema katika ruka 137 that there is nothing impossible with god hakuna chochote kisichowezekana kwa mungu what we require is to believe si tunahitaji tu kuamini that god is able to provide ya kwamba mungu anaweza kututoa whatever you require there is sources that you require ila kitu ama lazimari ambacho unahitaji if it is a healing god is able to touch you kama ni uponyaji mungu anaweza kukuguza there is nothing impossible with god hakuna chochote akiwezekani kwa mungu so today god has uh, told us kwa hivyo leo mungu ametuambia that he is going to do uh, uh, exceeding abundantly above what we can think nor imagine anaweza fanya zaidi kuliko kile ambacho tunaomba ama kuwaza according to the power that is working in us kulingana na ile nguvu ambayo inafanya god has given us power mungu ametupatia nguvu power to speak things ba nguvu ya kunena mambo and they come to pass na ije kutimia he is able to do exceedingly anaweza fanya kwa wingi the bible says in job 1 uh, ya bibi inasema katika ayubu moja from first 12 kutoka hapa 12 that job had everything in life ya kwamba ayubu alikuwa na kila kitu katika maisha job had a fervent faith mama biblia ambayo yako ayubu alikuwa na imani ambayo ilikuwa kusa job had a very beautiful family but biblia ayubu alikuwa na familia ya kupendeza sana and the bible says that job was very rich na bibi inasema ya kwamba ayubu alikuwa tajiri sana in fact the bible called job, called job the greatest and he was the richest man in the east and one day satan argued with god and satan started speaking to god and he told god if you would remove the wealth of job all the blessing that you have given unto job then job will not worship you and Satan believed that uh, uh, the job was worshiping God because of the wealth he had na satan akafikiria ya kwamba ayubu alikuwa na mabudu mungu kwa ajili ya utajiri aliyokuwa nao and the bible says that God permitted satan to go and test job na biblia inasema ya kwamba mungu akamruhusu satan kwenda kumjaribu ayubu but he was given an instruction that he should not uh, touch the, the soul of job na hata hivyo alipatiwa agizo ya kwamba asiguze nafsi yake ayubu and the bible says that stop came is job's life na bibi inasema ya kwamba dharuba ikaja katika maisha ya ayubu the ten children that job had died wale watoto 10 ambao ayubu alikuwa nao wakafa his wealth entire wealth was wiped away na utajiri wake wote ukafagiriwa he contracted boils in his body na akakuwa na majipu katika mwili wake despite the severe brokenness and the grief na akakuwa na mtu wa kuvujika sana na kuugua kwa uchungu his friends ran away mwili wake ukaodoka nyama zake za the bible says the job did not cast go na bibi inasema ya kwamba hata hivyo ayubu hakumlaani that he even continued to exalt god more na zaidi aliendelea kumtukuza mungu and today i came to tell you na kwa bibi God does not change. Mungu habadiliki hata kidogo. God was able to do exceedingly well and as he restored job. Na Mungu aliweza kufanya zaidi na akaweza kumrejesha. And the Bible says and the Lord in, in Job 42:10. Na Biblia inasema katika uh, Johana 12:10. Uh, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job katika ayubu 42 and when job prayed na wakati ayubu alipoomba for his friends alipowaombea marafiki zake also the lord gave job twice as much as he had before mungu akamupatia ayubu maradufu ya kile ambacho alikuwa nacho beleni job could not see this happening ayubu hageona hiki kidedeka Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. He could see the captivity. Alikuwa anaona tu kifungo. He could look at his body. Alikuwa anaona tu mwili wake. He could look at his, uh, as his children. Alikuwa anaangalia tu watoto wake. And he could not even imagine that God could have given him Na twice. Na anaweza hata kufikiria kwamba Mungu amempatia. But because the word of God is true. Na kwa sababu neno la Mungu ni kweli. The promises are yea and amen. Na ahadi zake ni yesi na amina. When he prayed unto this God. Alipomwomba the bible says 
that 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 job he was given as twice as much as he had there before biblia inasema ya kwamba ayubu alipewa maradufu ya kila bacho alikuwa nacho the bible says that job lived 140 years biblia inasema ya kwamba ayubu aliishi miaka 140 and we are seeing god a uh, uh, blessing uh, job exceeding more than he was expecting na tunaona ya kwamba tuna mungu alimbariki ayubu kuliko vile alikuwa anatarajia and therefore job remained faithful unto god na kwa hivyo ayubu akabaki mwaminifu kwa mungu so if we remain faithful unto god na tu kwa hivyo tukikawa aminifu kwa mungu the same god has not changed mungu yule yule hajabadilika he is able to do exceeding abundant things and miracles in our lives anaweza fanya zaidi kwa utere mambo na miujiza katika maisha yetu god knows us by our name mungu anatujua kwa majina yetu there is no way you can stop god's plan hakuna mahali unaweza zuiria mipango ya mungu even if job went through storms hata kama ayubu alipitia dhoruba he even lost his children hata aliwaangalia watoto wake god has a better plan for job mungu alikuwa na mpango mwema kwa ayubu and he was he wanted to bless job na alikuwa anataka kumbariki ayubu so that today we can be encouraged kwa hivyo leo tunaweza himizwa so that somebody can lead that history of the, the history of job ili mtu aweze kuacha hiyo historia kama ayubu and he is able to exalt somebody else na aweze kumtuhui muinua mtu mwingine god is able to do exactly more than we can think not imagine mungu anaweza fanya zaidi na kwa utere kuliko ile ambayo tunafikiria and he is able to do through his power na anaweza fanya kupitia nguvu zake with god nothing is impossible na kwa mungu hakuna bacho hakiwezekana the bible says in luke 1 uh, first 37 biblia inasema katika luka 1:37 that with god nothing is impossible ya kwamba kwa mungu hakuna kisichowezekana what is impossible with the man kila bacho hakiwezekani kwa binadamu it is possible with god kinawezekana kwa mungu god is able to display his power mungu anaweza achilia nguvu zake in us kadani yetu he is omnipotent eh ni mungu ambaye ana nguvu zote he is omniscient yeah ni mungu ambaye ana uzuzi wake his power and his strength nguvu yake na uwezo wake and his authority has no boundary na mamlaka yake haina mpaka The Bible says one time Jesus was in the desert. Biblia inasema ya kwamba siku moja Yesu alikuwa jangwani. And there was a very big multitude of people. Na kulikuwa na gumati mkubwa wa watu. And he preached unto these people. Na akawahubiria watu wote. And that night came. Na usiku ukafika. These people were listening unto Jesus. Na watu walikuwa wamsikiza Yesu. And they hadn't eaten anything. Na akawakuwa amekula hakuwa amekula chochote. In Matthew 14 and uh, chapter 14 verse 19. Na katika Mathayo 10 na 10 the were very worried na kwa hivyo hawa tumo alikuwa na because it was getting the night kwa sababu usiku ulikuwa unafika and the congregation had not eaten na umati haukuwa umekula chochote and the disciples went to jesus kwa hivyo mitume wakamwendea yesu and they asked jesus na wakamuuliza yesu what are we going to do tutafanya nini and then jesus said let them not these people let them not go na Yesu akawaambia msiachie watu waondoke. Let them have be seated. Waacheni wote waketi. And Jesus asked. Na Yesu akauliza, "What do you have?" Una nini? And the disciples said they had uh, five loaves and two fish. Na mitume wakasema walikuwa na mikate tano na samaki. And Jesus looking unto heaven he blessed the two fish and the five bread. Na Yesu akitazama juu akabariki hiyo mikate na samaki. And the Bible says na Biblia inasema that he was able to feed 5000 men. Ya kwamba aliweza kulisha wa 1500 beside women and children. Bila watoto na wa mama. And they took a, a fragment of about 12 basket. Na kuweza kukusanya mabaki ya 12. And yet for God is able to multiply. Na kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza jumulisha. And today I am looking at the conference that is ahead of us. Na kwa leo ninaangalia kongamano ambalo liko mbele yetu. And I am seeing good god telling us na naona mungu wetu mzuri atuambia ni nini tuko nacho what do we have tuko na nini god is able to multiply mungu anaweza kukujumlisha it is better you believe with me because ni, god is able to multiply ni heli uamini pamoja nami kwa sababu mungu anaweza jumlisha because nothing is impossible with god kwa kuwa hakuna chochote hakiwezekani kwa mungu and we can never 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 stop the plan of god na uwezi zuiria nguvu ya mungu hata kidogo whatever he has started chochote bacho ameanza he must 
see it to come to uh, to an end. Lazima aone mwisho wake. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. God was able to, to to bring into life his friend Lazarus. Na Mungu aliweza kumle kumrudisha uhai wa Lazarus. In John 11:43 to 44. Yohana 11:43 to 44. I do not know what is dead in your life. Sijui ni nini hicho kimekufa katika maisha yako. God is able to bring it forth. Mungu anaweza kukivuja. Whatever it is dead God is able to raise it again. Mungu chote ambacho kimekufa Mungu anaweza kukivuja. In the name kukivuja. of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And God na Mungu through his mighty power kupitia nguvu yake kuu that he send in us ana habari na kada ni we are able to do all things through tu, Christ who is going to strengthen us tunaweza fanya kila kitu kupitia Kristo ambaye atutiaye nguvu the bible says in philippians 4:13 biblia inasema katika wa filipi 4:13 that we can do all things through Christ who is going to strengthen us ati tunaweza fanya kila kitu kupitia Kristo atutiaye nguvu because we are made with the likeness of god kwa sababu tumeumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu and we are able to possess the inheritance power and of uh, of goodness of god na tunaweza pokea urithi wa nguvu za Mungu na God is not limited. Mungu hajazuiriwa. He is able to manifest in our lives. Anaweza jidhirisha katika maisha yetu. With miracles. Kupitia miujiza. With grace and forgiveness. Kupitia neema na msamaha. And healing is going to be exhibited in our lives. Na uponyaji utaonekana katika maisha yetu. Because he is God. Kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu. His authority and work. Mamlaka yake na kazi yake are going to be accomplished in our lives. Zitatimizwa katika maisha yetu. When we invoke the name of Jesus. Tukiliita jina la Yesu. When we call upon this name of Jesus. Tukiliita hili jina la Yesu. God is able to do miracles. Mungu anaweza fanya miujiza. Yesterday I happened to go to town. Ah, uh, jana nilieba, nilieda mjini. And the car was being fitted the tires. Na hii gari ilikuwa inawekwa gurudumu. I met three mechanics. Na nikapata na mekanika wanne. And as I was seated, na mahali nilipokuwa nimeketi. Some were waiting for the vehicle to be fitted with the tires. Hapo nikigojea gari likawekwa gurudumu. I saw one young man. Nikaona kijana mmoja mwanaika. Going behind the vehicle. Akienda nyuma ya gari. I and he took some stuff. Na akachukua kitu. And I waited that he finish. Na nikagoja hadi amalize. Then I called this that, that, that man. Alafu nikamuita huyu kijana. And I started talking to that man. Na nikaanza kuongea na yeye. Another one came. Mwingine akaja. And as I was talking this good news about Jesus. Na nilipokuwa namhubiria habari za Jesus. And I asked this man. Na nikamuuliza. Sometimes you can carry a burden. Wakati mwingine unaweza beba mzigo. That will not be in a position to carry. Aba hutaweza kubeba. Why do you carry? Kwani nini unabeba? Why do uh, uh, copy bad uh, negative things? Kwa nini unafuata ama unaiza mambo kinyume? Na huyu mtu akaniambia. That life is too hard. Ya kwapa maisha ni magumu sana. Sometimes you come to work. Wakati mwingine unaenda kazi. And you don't get even some of or some work. Na wewe hata huwezi pata kazi. And everybody around him na kila mtu abaya anamzunguka. You should take drugs. Huwa anakunywa madawa. And therefore if you are alone. Na kwa hivyo who is not taking those drugs? Huyo abaya hakunywi madawa. Sometimes they talk of ill of that person. Wakati mwingine ananenwa vibaya. And I asked him. Na nikamuuliza. Why should you copy? What is your name? Wewe jina lako ni nani? Kwa nini uige? Then he told me my name is John. Akaniambia jina langu ni Yohana. And I asked him. Alafu nikamuuliza. When you are going at home? Poeta nyumbani in the evening uko jioni do you go with the, the rest of your friends je huwa unaelekea nyumbani na marafiki wako then he told me no alafu akaniambia are you sure to go alone huwa anaenda peke yake then i ask him how old are you nikamuuliza una umri wa wapi then he told me that he is old alafu akaniambia miaka 30 i ask again are you married nikamuuliza je umeoana then he said no i'm not married akaniambia sijaoa then i ask do you want jesus alafu nikamwambia una yesu to amend your life life because you can carry a burden that you cannot even be in a position to hold then there were three men 
Alafu kwa hiyo na wanaume watatu. And I preached the good gospel. Na nikawafubilia habari njema. Then is they told me. Alafu akaniambia that they never thought. Hawakuwa nafikiria that getting saved the thought that getting saved is a big thing. Alikuwa nafikiria kuokoka ni kitu kubwa. Then I asked them do you really want this Jesus? Alafu nikauliza je mnataka huyu Yesu kwa hakika ili akuwasaidie? Then they said yes. Wakasema ndio. And I led them to Jesus. Alafu nikawaelekeza kwa Yesu. And God changed their story. Na Mungu akabadilisha hadithi. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. God can change your story also. Mungu anaweza badilisha hadithi yako pia. According to the power that was working in us. Amen. Ndiko na ile kazi nguvu ambayo ilikuwa inafanya kazi. He was able Daniel. to touch those people. Aliweza kuguza hao watu. I invited them to come to church on 18th. Na nikawaalika kuja kanisani tarehe 18. I'm still praying for them. Ninawaombea. And they said they had had good news. Na wakasikia wamesikia habari njema. And therefore God is able to do more than we can imagine. Na kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza fanya zaidi ya ile ambayo tunaweza fanya. Those men never imagined they can get saved. Hao watu hawakufikiria kwamba wanaweza kuwa. When they were coming to work. Walipokuwa nakuja kazi. They never thought so. Hawakufikiria hivyo. When they saw a woman standing near a uh, legacy. Walipona wake mwanamke amesimama karibu na gari. They thought that they can never talk to them. Walifikiria kwamba hawezi ongea nao. And they saw God coming. Aliona Mungu akija. In their lives. Katika maisha yao. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. And God delivered them. Na Mungu akawakoboa. Because they never even imagined. Kwa sababu hawakuwa. So today I don't know. Kwa hivyo leo sijui. What you are asking God to do for Kira you. Kila wakati unaomba Mungu akufanyie. The Bible says that the, the God was also able to deliver the Israelites. Ya kwa Mungu aliweza hata kuwakoboa wana Israeli. And the Israelites so they were very stubborn. Na Waisraeli walikuwa wasubufu sana. In one way they were worshiping other gods. Kwa jia ndio alikuwa anaabudu miungu mingine. But God was able he continued to love them. Lakini Mungu aliendelea kuwapenda. He was able to deliver them from the yoke of slavery in Egypt. Aliweza kuwakomboa kutokana na nira ya utumwa huko Misri. And he could anoint these children of God. Na aliweza kuwapaka mafuta ya wana wa Mungu. And he did not let them go. Hakuachilia. Despite their disobedience. Hata kama hakuwa wanati they called God committed uh, unto them Mungu aliweka kwa kuwa that he is going to love them ya kwamba atawapenda and God because of this love na kwa sababu ya upendo wa Mungu and when the children of Israel they were running away na wakati yeye walikuwa anaotoka and now they had reached the, the, the red sea na wakafika huko bahari shamba the Bible says that God provided whatever they needed Mungu bila inasema ya kwamba Mungu aliwapea chochote he was able to part the red sea aliweza kutenganisha And these children of God they were able to trek through waliweza kuvuka to their promised land katika nchi ya hadi despite of their discipline hata kama hawakuwa despite of the trials hata kama kulikuwa na majaribu God had unleashed love Mungu alikuwa na upendo wao Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. God is able to do exactly more and abundantly above what we can ask or think. Mungu anaweza fanya zaidi na kwa utele kwa juu sana kuliko yale ambayo tunafikiria na. God was teaching me about the wisdom and riches of Solomon. Na Mungu alikuwa ananifunza kuhusu hekima na utajiri wa Sulaimani. And he was reminding me when Solomon rose through uh, into the throne. Ana alikuwa ananikumbusha wakati uh, Solomoni alinuka katika cheo God asked Solomon what do you want what do you desire from me Mungu akamuuliza Sulaimani nini unatamani kutoka kwangu And Solomon because he knew his weakness Na kwa sababu Sulaimani alikuwa anajua udhaifu wake Because he knew himself having inability to kwa, govern the, 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 the country Na kwa sababu alikuwa anajua hakuwa na nguvu ya kutawala He requested inchi. God to give him wisdom Akamwomba Mungu ampatie hekima so that he could be in a position to rule uh, the Israelites in a righteous way. Ili akaweze kuwaelekeza Waisraeli katika jia ya utakatifu. And the Bible says that Solomon was granted uh, wisdom. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba Sulaimani akapewa hekima. And God's grace was exceedingly abundant in Solomon's life. Na Mungu akajionyesha kwa utele sana na zaidi katika maisha ya, ya 
he also gave him a great wealth the bible says in first kings uh, chapter 10 and verse 23 so solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and wisdom na kwa hivyo Suleimani akawazidi wafalme wote katika hiyo katika nchi kwa utajiri na hekima. So what is God telling us this day? Na kwa hivyo kila Mungu anatuambia siku ya leo. That there is nothing impossible with God. Ya kwamba hakuna chochote hakiwezekani kwa Mungu. A word spoken by God. Na neno ambalo limenenwa na Mungu mwenyewe. There shall be a performance of those things that God has spoken. Utakuwa na utendakazi wa yale mambo ambayo Mungu amenena. Even if you have faith just like a small as mustard seed. Hata kama uko na ukiwa na imani ndogo kama ya ile bela I want to tell you that you can say unto this mountain na nataka kuambia unaweza ambia huu mlima to move from here to go there ukaondoke hapa uende kule and that mountain will move na huo mlima utaondoka and nothing shall be impossible with God na hakuna chochote ambacho hakitawezekana kwa Mungu Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. God is powerful and mighty. Mungu ana uwezo na ni mkuu sana. He is the one who created heaven and earth. Yeye ndiye aliupa bingu na nchi. He is the one who created you. Yeye ndiye alikuupa wewe. He is the one who knows you when you wake up and when you go to sleep. Anakujua unaamka ukiuamkapo na ulalapo. He knows your last days. Anajua siku zako za mwisho. He can count the hair of your head. Anaweza hesabu nywele za kichwa chako. And his authority has of authority over you na kona nguvu za juu yako and i came to tell you that the, the, the good attributes about god they have no boundaries na nakuja kukwambia ya kwamba zile tabia zake mungu ya kwa uzuri wake hazina kipimo they have no boundaries and they are for generations forever and ever hazina mipaka na ni vya vizazi milele na milele if he want to bless you he will bless you without limitation na kama anataka kubariki atakubariki bila kuku He is the one who blessed Abraham. Yadi alibariki Abraham na Sarah. And he gave them a child at their old age. Na akawapatia mtoto katika uzee wao. He is the one who did uh, make uh, apostles uh, Peter to walk on water. Yadi alipanda alifanya mtume Petro akaweza kutembea juu ya maji. So everything that you read about the word of God uh, everywhere he went he did good. Na chochote ambacho unasoma kuhusu neno la Mungu popote alipoenda alitenda neno. And everything that is written about God is great. Na chochote kiandikacho kuhusu Mungu ni kuu. And therefore uh, God is able to bless each one of us. Na kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza kubariki kila mmoja wetu. His bow abounding love for us. Mema uh, upendo wake mkuu kwetu. The Bible says in Mark 14 and verse 36. Katika Maliko 14 na mstari wa 6 that our father he said everything is possible for you. Uh, aya kwa baba 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 anasema ya kuchochota kichawechezekana kwako ah when he cried out abba father in gethsemane wakati alipolia abba baba katika ya gethsemane we can also call him abba father tunaweza pia muita baba yetu and when we make we call him abba father we can make a decision today na tunaweza tunapomuita baba wetu tunaweza fanya at gethsemane he made a decision katika gethsemane alikata kauli make a decision today pia wewe unaweza kata kauli siku ya to come to this Jesus. Uja kwa huyu Yesu. The Bible says in Matthew 26:16. Biblia inasema katika Mathayo 26:16:26:16:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:26:
for you. Kwa sababu anaweza kukufanyia. He is able to equip us with A- good works. Anaweza kutupea kazi nzuri. God is able to make all grace about towards us. Anaweza fanya kila neema ya aina yote iwe juu yetu. That you have everything that you require. Ya ili ukapata kila kitu ambacho unahitaji. But you have to work. Lakini unafaa kufanya kazi. For God to bless your hands. Kwa the work of your hands. Kwa sababu amekuita akabariki kazi ya mikono yako. You have to work. Lazima ufanye kazi. If you want God to exit for you, you have to work. Ya ili unataka Mungu akuzidi kazi. The word of God kazi. must be according to what he has spoken. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu lazima lifanye kazi kuligana na kila menena bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe the word of god shall come to pass neno la mungu litakuja kutimia and whatever shall, uh, god has spoken uh, with his own mouth na chochote ambacho mungu amenena kwa kinywa chake there shall be a performance of those things utakuwa na utendakazi wa hayo mambo and we will look back and see what god has done unto us na tutaangalia nyuma na kuona kila yale mungu ametutendea and jesus uh, the bible says in matthew 9:28 na biblia inasema katika matthew This is why Jesus met with a blind man. He met with a blind man. Yesu akapatana na mtu kipofu. And Jesus asked this blind man. Na mtu Yesu akauliza huyu kipofu. Do you believe that I am able to do this? Je, unaamini ya kwamba naweza fanya haya? And the blind man said yes, I believe. Na kipofu akasema ndio naamini. Sometimes we may mistake ourselves. Wakati mwingine tunaweza Sometimes we may limit God. Wakati mwingine tunaweza tilia Mungu kizuizi. But God is able. Lakini Mungu anaweza. Because he is great us. Kwa sababu akaonea ni mkubwa. Nothing is impossible. Hakuna chochote hakiwezekani. Who is like unto our God? Je, ni nani kama Mungu wetu? He is able to do exactly about and above what Ana we can. Anaweza zaidi na kwa utena na juu sana kuliko kile tunawaza ama kufikiria. Today. Leo, as I finish. Ninapomalizia, uh, God is telling us. Mungu anatuambia that God does what he pleases by uh, what he pleases. Ya Mungu huwa anafanya akimpenda He does what he pleases. Anafanya kulingana na vile ye mwenyewe anapenda. Amen. The Bible says in one, uh, Psalms 1:15 first 3. Biblia inasema katika Zaburi 115 mstari wa 3 that our god ya kwamba Mungu wetu in heaven akiwa biguni he does whatever pleases him huwa anafanya yale ampendezayo sometimes we try to limit god wakati mwingine tunajaribu kumpimia Mungu sometimes we like uh, understanding our own uh, understanding wakati mwingine tunataka kujielewa je with our own, own imagination na mafikara yetu wenyewe we build castle in the air tunaanza kuanza kujenga minara kwa hewa tell you that that this more, uh, more power than you ever think lakini nataka kuambia kuna nguvu zaidi kuliko vile unafikiria. God encourages us to pray. Mungu anatuhimiza tuombe and we believe what we pray it shall come to pass. Natuamini kwamba kile ambacho tunaombea kitakuja kutimia. Because God ha- does not ha- does not change. Kwa sababu Mungu habadiliki. God does not grow old. Mungu hazaeki hata kidogo. And I'm telling you that God cannot deny himself. Na nakwambia kwamba Mungu hawezi kujikana. We need to believe. Tuna nafaa kuamini and abide in him na tushikamane naye he can never deny hawezi jikana god can never lie mungu hawezi daganya according to titus 1 and first 2 kuligana na tito 1:3 in hope of eternal life which god that cannot lie uh, promised before the world began kwa tumaini katika neno la Mungu ya kwamba Mungu hawezi daganya kabla ya ahadi zifanyike. God can also never never be tempted to evil. Mungu hawezi kujaribiwa kwa uovu. He cannot change his basic nature. Mungu hawezi badilisha asili yake. According to uh, James 1:13. Kuligana na Yakobo 1:13. And he can never act contrary to his own righteousness and goodness. Na hawezi tenda kinyume na utakatifu wake. God has an unchanging character. Mungu ana tabia isiyo badilika. He is able to save us. Anaweza kutuokoa. He is able to uh, 